Hey guys, welcome to part 6 of our Swift and Firebase tutorials. This one's going to be a pretty quick one where I show you how to download and cache images so that we can uh, see them in our post cells here. Uh, sorry for speaking a little quietly, but it's because it's 1.47am uh, right now. Uh, anyways, let's get into the code. So if you've been following along, you'll notice that uh, I've organized the, code, the files into some folders here. Uh, nothing that crazy, just uh, it helps to you know, simplify the work process a bit. But it's not really necessary. Anyways, we're going to add a file called uh, image service into our services folder and import UI kit and then define the classes image service uh, like so. Okay, a static funk. I'm going to add a static funk called download image with URL of type URL and then add a completion block here, escaping. this and that's going to return a image of type UI image okay now we can say uh, let data task equal URL session shared data task with completion handler so we can do URL and let's just clean that up a bit by saying uh, URL, sorry, image data rather, data uh, URL error in, and then define a variable called downloaded image of type UI image, uh, make it optional, and then say if let uh, data equal data, so that's unwrapping the data there, then say downloaded image will equal UI image from data. Okay. Then completion. And put the uh, downloaded image here. Okay, so because it's optional, it fits for our completion block. And so we may or may not give an image whether or not this data is uh, nil or not. Now, because I assigned this task to data task, we have to put data task outside the block and say uh, resume. One problem here actually is that this is happening on a background thread, which we probably don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and say dispatch queue main async and put this completion call onto the main thread. All right, because when we use this image, we're probably going to be assigning it to something in the user interface, and it's really going to want it to be on the main thread, otherwise, uh, it's going to complain. So uh, that's important and ready to go. Here in our post table view cell, we can say uh, image service, download image with URL, and that URL is going to be the post author photo URL, and that's going to turn an image in. Okay. And from there, we can say self profile image view, image equal image. All right, let's give that a run. And there we are. Nice. It's working. We've got our different images all loading there, and it's all happening on a background thread, and then it's populating the cells on the main thread. So perfect. So one thing we can improve here is actually cache the image every time we download it, so that if we download the same image twice, then we can first check does this image exist in a cache, and then we won't have to uh, spend time, you know, and spend the data downloading it a second time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add a static let cache that's going to be of type uh, ns cache and it's going to be say ns string ui image like so okay so just copy something like that and then we'll say if downloaded image is not equal nil then we can say cache we can save it to the cache by going set object downloaded image force unwrap it and then ns string. So we want to do URL. Uh, okay, so that actually, this is a bit of confusion. We should rename this one here response URL because we really want the URL uh, sent in as the parameter. So we don't want that to be confused. So it's a URL uh, absolute string. And then I'm just going to cast this as a ns string, like so, because. Uh, this is an NS cache, it expects an NS string, and 
you know, that's just how it works. Okay, so now when our, we get our image, we are actually caching it here. Okay, and next would be to add another function called static func get image with URL. Just kind of like above. In fact, we can pretty much copy this this uh, parameters here. And instead of just immediately downloading the image, this function is going to check if um, the image already exists in the cache. So let's say if let image equal cache uh, object for key, and the key will be the URL absolute string as an string, then just return that image like so. Okay, otherwise we'll have to download the image and do download image like this and the completion will just be um, the same completion here. All right, so this completion will be passed into the download image and that'll be called here. So we get the same result pretty much, but we get this nice additional check where, um, you know, if the image is already in the cache with the key of the URL, then we're good. We don't need to download it again. So now in our post cell, we can replace download image with get image and run that. And we'll see we pretty much got the same result here. And again, no visual change really, but all the images downloaded successfully. And we know that underneath, the performance is going to be a lot better because we're not going to be downloading multiple times. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'll leave it there. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.